we lift our hands in the praise of the Lord, every God in the house. I invite everyone to stand in the house. The Lord has certainly been good. This time it's my pleasure to present to this audience tonight a friend, a brother, a mentor, a Bible teacher, and most importantly, a child of God, Minister Everald Brown. God bless you. Just continue to worship the Lord every time. I said continue, continue. you find that praise, just give it up to him. Come on, just give it up to him. Fill this place with an atmosphere of worship. Give it up to him. Give it up to him. Amen. Give it up to him. Book of Hebrews said, by him therefore let us offer up the sacrifice of praise. If you're not making a sacrifice, your praise don't mean anything. Sacrifice of praise, fruit of your lips. Somebody came for a miracle tonight. Somebody came to see the move of God and the demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost. She called by.
special touch from the Lord. Hold that hand. Just worship. Lord Jesus, we ask you tonight to tabernacle in this house one more time. We ask you to navigate and to lead and to guide us by your spirit tonight. Every situation that's in this house, every concern, every trouble, every trial, every problem, when we should have left this house tonight, Lord, rid every man, every woman 
every boy, every girl of that situation. And when you would have healed us tonight, we would have come out of this house giving you glory and giving you honor and giving you praise. Lord, anoint us another time for these brief few remaining moments. Touch these lips of clay. Touch your eyes. Lord God, touch your hand. Speak through us. Speak with us. Speak for us. And we will give you the honor and the glory and the praise. In Jesus' name. Now let go those hands and begin to... Give the Lord a mighty ovation. Every expecting heart, give the Lord, give the Lord a big clap of praise. Psalm 47 1 says, Clap your hand, all you people, and shout unto God. Somebody open your mouth, shout unto God to the voice of triumph. They still need to hear you down the street, they still need to hear you up the street. The voice of triumph. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You may take your seats. In the name of the Lord. For thou, for thou, O Lord, shield is a shield for me. Lift up my glory and the lifter of my head. We certainly want to greet Youth Week 2015 another time in the matchless and adorable name of the Lord Jesus Christ and to our Bishop and the Apostle over the Apostolic Ark International, Bishop Jeffrey Johnson and to the precious Mother Johnson, Pastor Johnson, to the House of Johnson and to all these Great men of God, Bishop Clark, Lady Clark, Elder Brown, amen. It's good to see Elder White and the rest of you, all my colleagues on the bench, to all the elect ladies, amen, pastors and evangelists and teachers and leaders and everybody, to the choir, to the musicians, and to all of you, my father's children, to the household of faith, we say greetings in the name of the Lord. It's a wonderful thing to be free from sin and to have Christ within. You don't look so happy. Let me say it again. It's a wonderful thing to be free from sin and to have Christ within. It's good to see all the foreign delegates begging from Birmingham, those from Edmonton. And there's somebody from my town in the Bronx, God bless you, from Bishop Blake. I know who you are. I know you know who I am. Amen. Good to see you. I don't know. It seems as if since we left, the weather has changed. <laughs> They've been having summer weather for the last three days. I don't know. Maybe it was good for me to, to have left so that the weather could <laughs> There could be a change of weather. Amen. It was cold up until Sunday night and I was leaving. But isn't God wonderful? Isn't God awesome? Amen. Eyes have seen, ears have heard as it's recorded in His Word. Isn't He? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? I don't want to forget on tonight, I should have brought the report before, but I, I bring you greetings from uh, Bishop Marvel Johnson and the Apostolic Ark Annex in, in Connecticut. And uh, the truth of the matter is we, we, we had a, a precursor to Youth Week and uh, it was two of the worst nights in terms of the climate. Uh, but on Friday night, I drove up the 95. I, I spoke for two nights. On Friday night, uh, we had one uh, filled with the Holy Ghost. On Saturday night, 
it was snowing up until when I got to church like minutes after nine. Almost just went straight to the pulpit. And another soul got the Holy Ghost. And then on Sunday morning, two got baptized. I, I just want to report victory and to tell you that the church is moving on in the name of the Lord Jesus. There, there are two, two concerns of mine tonight, and if you pray with me, I, I want to be timely, but I, I want to, God to move and to work in this house. There are two concerns of mine, two concerns, two special people to me. It's, it's good to see the delegation from Kingston, and I'm sure... I'm sure I can say this, amen, Sister Cummings and Sister Oldsworth, amen, and, and, and my sister, for, amen, and uh, two concerns. One of my closest allied, if you will, one of my, my, my brothers in ministry, uh, in just January, his wife was diagnosed with, with cancer the breast. I just left them on the uh, first weekend that I was there for church. I went home to share with them. And of course, uh, by now, most of you, well, some of you would have known of the challenge uh, that Lady Holdsworth faced. And so I have two concerns on tonight among the other concerns. But I know a God. Yes. I know the God <laughs> that is able to do anything but fail in the name of the Lord. Pray with us tonight. Isaiah chapter number four. And I'm reading verse number one in your hearing, Isaiah chapter number four. I'm sure I saw some Beulahites coming in tonight. A little group from Beulah? Yes, I'm sure I saw folks coming in from Beulah. God bless you. Amen. Isaiah chapter four, verse number one. And uh, to embellish that text. New Testament reading. First Timothy chapter 2. First Timothy chapter 2 reading from verse number 4. And uh, if you bear with me, Revelation chapter 1 verse 12 and 13. Isaiah 4 verse number 1. Just one verse there. Then First Timothy 2 Reading verse 4 through to verse number 6, Revelation 1, 12 and 13. It's about five or six scriptures in your hearing. In the name of the Lord. Hear these recorded words in Isaiah. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only, somebody say only. Let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, to take away our reproach. First Timothy chapter 2, reading verse number 4 through the verse number 16. Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? For there is one God and one mediator.